Paragraph 68. Using the data in Appendix G, calculate the standard enthalpy change for each of the following reactions, and then we have this reaction right here. So we have nitrogen gas, N2 gas, plus oxygen gas, O2 gas, yields two NOs. Now, I already see that they put a coefficient here, so this reaction is balanced. So remember, we always have to just make sure that, you know, a equation is balanced before we do any math, but this is balanced. And what I did for you guys is I already went to the Appendix G, and I found out the numbers, the delta H values, which is enthalpy, for each component, okay? So how are we going to do this? There's one simple formula. We've seen it a little bit, right? It's this one. It's the delta H of the whole reaction, the amount of energy and heat produced or released during the reaction is the sum of the delta H of the products minus the sum of the delta H of the reactants. This little uh, symbol here just means the sum, meaning we have to add all of them up. So what I like to do is I just like to come up with one number for the reactant side and one number for the product side and then plug it in. Now, how are we gonna do this? Once you get the numbers from the table, right, just always multiply each number by how many you have in the balanced equation. So in this case, since there was no number in front of the N2, that technically means that I have one N2. So I'll multiply this by one. The same thing goes for the O2, right? There was no number here, there was one of them. I'm just gonna multiply by one. And then here I see that I have two of them, so I have to multiply this number that I found in the appendix times two. So this side will still be zero, zero and zero. And now 90.25 times two is 180.5. Okay, now let's sum it up. So I add up all the blue ones. So zero plus zero is obviously just zero. And this number would be the same, right? So maybe I'll just drop this a little bit down just so that I have room. So zero plus zero is zero. And this number would literally stay the same, 180.5. And now all we have to do is just throw in those two numbers in here. So the delta H for the reaction is products 180.5 minus zero. So in this case, the delta H would just be 180.5, right? And that's it. Now just know that the units for delta H, if we're using the appendix, is always kilojoules per mole. So this would be 100 kilojoules, 180.5 kilojoules per mole, and you are done. Let's look at that, guys. Not bad. Just go back and get those numbers, and then just use products minus reactants. That's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in future lessons, and have a great day. Bye-bye.